Hello everyone, this is Orlando from A Collector's Dream. And today I want to talk about the 1974 top set. And um, as you know, if you've been following my, uh, my channel, my videos, I've uh, done, I'm on, doing the run of 1970 sets. I've completed every set, but, and I got all of these from you know, opening packs when I was a kid. So what I'm going through my videos is showing every year. So I've shown 1970, 71, 72, 73, and then I showed 1975 set, which is the last one. I skipped 74 because I like 75 so much, I wanted to get to it quickly. And 74 is not one of my favorites, but I'm gonna go through it because it's got some really, really awesome cards and some awesome history. And the first one is the uh, Hank Aaron card, which is number one. And this is when he became the all-time home run king. And I've had, a, I think I've got three of my cards graded from the set. And I'll show you the graded cards and I'm gonna show you all of the, um, the Hall of Famers from the set. And then I'll show you the set in another video because I'm just gonna show the Hall of Famers and the, the, the big names on this video and I'll show you the rest. So anyway, let me just kind of share what uh, I went through here. This is the old box where all of these were stored. And they were basically raw. They weren't even in penny sleeves. I put them in here. Uh, what I did when I uh, found my collection again, when my father uh, found it and called me, and they were all in shoe boxes. So I went, I bought a bunch of these boxes and I put this and I put the year and I put them in there and I actually went through and I ended up having you know a lot of doubles because I pulled these you know I just opening tons of packs when I was a kid so I picked out the best ones and I ended up selling the uh, all of the doubles and duplicates and all of that stuff so I put the whole set together and um, put it in that box and today or yesterday I went ahead and put them in a new box and penny sleeve the whole set and here it is all nicely penny sleeved i pulled out the stars which i'm going to show you and these are all the common players beginning with these this is the number two card so i'm going to show you this in, an, in the next video i'll show you this whole box of mainly commons but there's a few minor stars and of course the uh subsets that you saw there so the home run uh, Hank Aaron subset. But we're gonna go ahead and, and show you this. This was a 660 card set. And um, one of the things about this set was that uh, it was the first set that was not uh, sold in series. So uh, for the first time, they issued the set all at once. And they issued it all at the beginning of the year rather than by series that they would do you know, throughout the season because, and they did it throughout the season, they could make changes, you know, and they had been doing it that way since 1952. So the set features, you know, color photos with the player's names. Let me show you the Nolan Ryan, so it's nice. Just has the, uh, a banner on the top that says the, you know, California and then the angels. And then it has the uh, player's position there, Nolan Ryan picture. And, you know, pretty simple design, you know, as is this year, many of these early 70s cards have a lot of issues with centering, print marks, and so on, you know, so as you go through my set, you'll see, you know, of course, I picked, I, I had doubles of probably most of most of these cards, so I picked out the best ones and kept, that I kept, so, so the set you'll see is, is in really, really nice condition. Uh, here's one of the uh, rookies from that year, Dave Parker. So these are the three that I graded. I looked at these, of course, the Hank Aaron I was gonna grade, the Nolan Ryan and, and the Dave Parker looked really, really sharp and centered. The only problem with the Dave Parker is, you know, all of these have print marks and this has a little fish eye here which a lot of them do, particularly, and that will lower the grade, even though this is an eight, because it's, you know, you gotta see it in person, it's really good. And the same thing with the Nolan Ryan, the Nolan Ryan, you know, they have 
print marks. So you know, the quality was not very good in those days. So it's almost impossible to find them with anything at all. And even these, you know, still they, they graded a seven and eight and in the air. And so, you know, another thing about this uh, set is that, um, you know, since it, it was uh, printed all at once, you know, there are, every card is printed in equal quantities. So it's all the same. So it eliminates any short prints or high numbers. So it's good and bad because, you know, sometimes, you know, the high numbers and the search for the high numbers, it's a, it's a fun, fun thing sometimes because they're, they're more scarce. But so these pretty much, the commons are going to be all worked the same as you, uh, you know, if you, if you decide you're going to buy any of these. So let me, let me kind of, no, I'll leave these right here. So the other cards of it that are popular here are, you know, the Mike Schmidt which is the second year Mike Schmidt. There are a couple of those here. You can see it's just hard to get them centered. This one's nicely centered though. So you got the Mike Schmidt, second year. The other popular cards are the uh, Dave Winfield rookie card, which I did not send to get graded, but I probably should. So that's the Dave Winfield. And the backs are, are kind of nice because it does have a, uh, like a little cartoon. Let's see if I can get a good close up of that here. Dave was born on the same day as Bobby Thompson, that Bobby Thompson hit his home, the home run. So you can see uh, the back, it has the number and name, it has like a facsimile autograph, and then it has the, uh, the, the, the stats there. So that's the uh, Dave Winfield. And then one of the things with this set is that uh, because they, it was all issued at one time, you know, there were many changes that were going on at, at that time in, in Major League Baseball. And one of them was, that, um, that, that there was speculation that the Padres would become the Washington Nationals. And there were actually 15 Padre players in this set, including, you know, Hall of Famers, you know, Hall, Hall of Fame uh, Willie McCovey, and, and a few others. And a lot of them will appear in the set as a uh, Washington National League de designation on the front. So some of them, you know, there are three distinct variations. And I'm not gonna go into details on that. I may do that when I show the, uh, all the commons and stuff. But uh, basically, they made the cards of uh, two different ones. Um, they made the uh, center, the, uh, sorry, the, the San Diego, the Padres, and then they made the same players, some of the same players, kind of later on, it's the only, type of sh uh, short prints that there are, and those are with the Washington National League. And this is the McCovey with the Washington, with the Washington National League instead of the uh, San Diego. See, he still has the cap that says San Diego Padres. And these were released uh, kind of, they did end up releasing later a uh, a trade, traded set, traded cards within this uh, actual set. So, uh, they, you know, even though that they said it was kind of one printing, they did end up printing later on that was part of the set and they're actually tougher to get are the traded cards. And um, this is the traded checklist. So what happened was that they ended up putting the players, see it says the numbers, 23T, 42T, 43T, those were the players that were traded. So what they did was they made a regular card of those players and then they put them as traded. So I'll show you some of these later and I'll show you some of the, the ones that were traded. So this is the traded set, which is really kind of par part of the set because the numbers, coincide with the numbers of the players that were traded. The other thing that they had in this set 
are um, are these little uh, facsimile autograph cards that were also inserted randomly in the packs uh, for the for all the teams. And um, yeah, I was looking at these. Some of these I had actually checked off. Look at that's Orioles was my favorite team, so I had actually checked this one off. And when I found my cards, they were actually by team. So I probably would put this and then put the players and I checked them off. Not all of them, because I, I had duplicates. I think I sold off most of the doubles on this too. But anyway, let's move on and show you the, uh, the stars here. And uh, it, it's a great set. You know, it, it's got those little error, what they call error cards, which are really reprints. This is a, uh, the, the number one card, the Aaron card. I had a couple of those. And this was the most popular card at that time. You know, this was huge. Everybody wanted that card. It was the number one card in the set. And it was the Hank Aaron breaking the record. So here's the Jim Hunter, Catfish Hunter. So I'm going to go through and show you all the Hall of Famers in this set. That's the Johnny Bench. And these, you know, are going to be all in nice shape. I got to get them graded. Here's Joe Torre. You see how he does some of them. I got to go through them because this does have some of the print marks that I talked to you about earlier. Here's the Gaylord Perry. Take a good look at these. Here's the Jim Palmer. These I pulled from packs. And, oh, I got a couple of Rod Carew. This is a Rod Carew. Here's another Rod Carew. Here's the Frank Robinson. Lou Brock. There's a Venezuelan player, Luis Aparicio. And most of the cards are really nice. This one's beautifully centered. It just has a, like a little print stain there. And that's actually an oil stain from the uh, printing press. And I used to be in the printing business. That's beautiful, Tom Seaver. And that is just the lack of keeping the uh, the plates clean and those are things that you know these when they were printing this this is the Orlando Cepeda it's a beautiful card of Cepeda the designated hitter at the time when these cards were printed back then you know they were meant to be for kids and they were only for kids adults really didn't buy these cards so they bought them for kids so you know the, the quality the printing quality really wasn't even they didn't bother with it they knew these cards would be put in Bicycle spokes and things like that. There's the Fergie Jenkins. So they really, you know, it wasn't a thing like today where, you know, the cards, they know they're going to come out of the pack and they're going to go to the grading companies. Back in those days, you know, they just, uh, there's Steve Carlton. Back in those days, they just ran the presses, printed them all up, and whatever happened, happened. So that's why. Very few or the vintage cards are really tough to get in, in good condition. They just came out of the packs with some defects. This was a nice clean one, the Burt Bly 11. And here's the Willie Stargell. So you beautifully centered, but see how it has some uh, fish eyes there. And that's uh, you know, they just weren't careful with that. They didn't care too much. There's a beautiful... I like this. This set had, does have a lot of action pictures. And you'll see more of that with the common cards than with the uh, stars. Most of the star cards are, you know, a little bit portrait type. There's the nice Colton Fisk. There's another one of the action pictures, and that's the Billy Williams. Looks like it must have been raining. Everybody's with like a raincoat back there. 
Let me go ask the Billy Williams. There's a Reggie here. Reggie's in a, kind of an action, action pose too. Nice Reggie Jackson. Bunch more to go here. Brooks Robinson. There's Yogi Berra as a manager. But Hall of Famer. Another great Latin player, Tony Oliva. Minnesota Twins Hall of Famer. And there was a uh, the batting leaders. Were two, they put, put the American League and the National League together. And here's the uh, nice card of uh, Pete Rose and Rod Carew. And here's the home run leaders with Reggie Jackson and Willie Stargell. Here's a few more RBI leaders again with Reggie and Willie. And then you got the stolen base leaders. You got Lou Brock in there. The uh, ERA leaders, Jim Palmer and Tom Seaver. This one, you can see him rubber band marks around it there. Look at that. See, that's from the rubber bands I put. So some of them may have some issues, but for the most part, they're pretty sharp because the ones that had uh, that were in bad shape, I pretty much sold it and kept uh, doubles, if I had a double of it. See, here's a beauty right here. That's a Nolan Ryan and Tom Seaver. Here's uh, Raleigh Fingers. K line. There's Don Sutton. So I'm going to show you all the Hall of Famers. There's a ton of Hall of Famers in this set. A ton of Hall of Fame cards. I don't know how many. I didn't count them, but I could count them, I guess. Here's the Tony Perez. First baseman. Red Chandies. Here's the uh, here's the other Willie McCovey with the Padres, which is the more common card. And there's the Willie McCovey with the uh, with the Washington. There's Ron Santo. Kind of looks like he's in uh, spring training there. And Ron Santo was traded. So once he was traded to the White Sox, he's part of the traded set, but I pulled it out because he's a Hall of Famer. In the back, you see his number is 270T. And the number here is 270. So I haven't put the trade trade it together with the uh, regular set, but I think they're probably meant to be that way, 270 and 270T. On Santo traded. Let's go on to some more big time Hall of Famers here. Look at that, Carl Yastrzemski. It's a beautiful Yaz card there. Rose. Sparky Anderson. One of the great players and managers. Juan Marichal. Look at that beautiful high leg kick from Marichal. Very underrated pitcher. He was so good. 
He was almost unhittable in his prime. And then he got traded, and here's when he got traded to the Red Sox. So again, you have his regular card from 72, 74, and his traded card. A30 and 330T. Then after that, he's got some more of the, uh, now they got, you, had, you saw the league leader cards, now there's the all-star cards. So that's another one of the nice subsets in the 74 set. So it has the uh, starting lineup for the all-star. It has the uh, catchers for the American League and National League. The first baseman with Hank Aaron and Dick Allen. This is a nice way to pick up a Hank Aaron card. There's the Rod Carew and Joe Morgan, second baseman, all-stars. This is a nice little set. And in the back, actually, it has that. So all the all-star cards, you can make a, a picture from it. Here's the uh, third baseman, Bruce Robinson and Ron Santo. You see the back? I'm not sure who the picture is. I can make it. There's the Bobby Mercer and the P. Rose for the left fielders. Here comes the uh, right fielders, Reggie Jackson and Billy Williams with the all-star starters. And the pitchers were uh, Jim Hunter and Rick Wise. So you can see the back of the cards, who it is here. And it was the MVP of the game. And it was Bobby Bonds, which is a 73 All-Star Game MVP. So when you put the cards together, it's gonna give you Bobby Bonds. The back. So that's uh, just to give you an idea what that looks like and who it is in the back. So that's a really cool subset. If you didn't know that, if you didn't see that, you know, it's a uh, it's the it's the All Star cards. And it shows all the American League and National League All-Stars. And in the back, it shows the, does the uh, puzzle for the MVP of that game, which was Bobby Bonds. So uh, here's uh, Thurman Munson, one of the nicer cards from, that, from the 74 set. I got to get that Munson graded. Looks nice. That's Thurman Munson. Here's a nice Bob Gibson. Now we're getting into the, these are the 350s. There's the, uh, another action picture. This is Harmon Kilbrew. There's Jim Cott. Now this card's really miscut. And it even has the other card there. And it looks like it's a horizontal card that was printed next to it. That's what it was. But anyway, there's the Jim Cott. Nice sharp corners, but it's kind of a miscut. And here's the playoff cards. There's a few of them. Because there's playoff cards, of course, in, in all the top sets in, of those years. And there's Reggie, the American League playoff. That's what they look like. In the back, of course, it's got the stats for the A's there. And then you have the World Series cards. And here's the World Series, and this is the Willie Mays. Willie Mays batting in the World Series in 1973. And this is another one of the 73. That's another uh, Reggie. Game six. So I'll show you the rest of the World Series cards in the regular 
I'm not sure that all the rest of the set. So let's show some more of the Hall of Famers, Tim McCarver. And getting near the end here, there's the Goose, Rich, Rich Gossage, Goose Gossage. Nice action photo of uh, Goose Gossage. And then you got the rookie cards in the back here. And uh, here's the uh, Ken Griffey. Here's uh, Frank Wright, Frank White. Not Hall of Famers, but you know, there's some of the top ones in the in this, these rookie class. Other than you know, of course, the rookies of uh, Winfield and Parker. And here's uh, one of the last cards in the set, which is Eddie Matthews. And these are the coaches' cards. That's what the coaches' cards look like. And that's number six thirty-four. So. Anyway, guys, that's a, a good look at the uh, star cards from the 74 top set. And a good look at, uh, you know, at the set overall. So thanks, guys, for watching my video. I'm going to go ahead and show you the entire set in the next video. That's this box here. So we'll get to take a good look at these in the next video. And I um, hope you have an awesome day. This is Orlando from A Collector's Dream. Please like and subscribe. And truly, truly appreciate you watching my, my videos. Thanks, everyone. Have an awesome day. This is Orlando from, an, from A Collector's Dream. Catch you in the next one.